Hello everyone. If you are happy with your job and salary, but if your friend relative gets a job with higher salary, then you will be dissatisfied with the same salary. If you are going to visit Andaman for holiday, but become less happy if you get to know that your friend going to Spain. If you are happy with your exam result, but if your friend getting higher marks, then your excitement of result will be vanished. It is not going to happen in all the cases but chances are higher. So why it is happening? It is happening because you are comparing yourself to others. We always look at our life from the perspective of comparison with others. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, but it's innate human tendencies. You are right, we are going to talk about social comparison theory. Understanding this theory will make you aware that when to compare and when not to compare with others. How social comparison can beneficial or problematic, and you can also find questions from this particular theory frequently in different psychology exams. You can find questions like, when making an upward comparison according to social comparison theory, what might individual feel? Option A, a sense of relief. Option B, inadequacy or jealousy. Option C, self-satisfaction. Option D, indifference. Another question. According to social comparison theory, what is the significance of similarity in comparison targets? Option A, similarity has no impact on the effectiveness of comparisons. Option B, comparisons to dissimilar individuals are more impactful. Option C, more likely to comparisons with those who are similar. And option D, comparisons to those with higher status are impactful than lower status. Watch complete video to get the answers and uh, complete explanation of this particular theory that is social comparison. So let's begin. Social comparison theory presented by psychologist Leon Festinger in 1954. This theory explains how individuals evaluate themselves by comparing their abilities, opinions and qualities with others. Festinger's theory helps us understand the motivation and consequences of social comparison process in various aspects of life, like how comparison impacting our self-esteem, decision-making and behavior. Core concept of social comparison theory is the idea that people have an innate tendency to evaluate themselves and they often do so by comparing themselves to others. First, we are going to discuss about types of comparison. According to social comparison theory, there are two main types of comparison. Number one, upward comparison and number two, downward. So let's discuss about upward comparison in the beginning. Imagine you are a student comparing yourself to a classmate who always gets the higher grades. This is an upward comparison just because you are looking at someone who seems better than you in some way. When you make an upward comparison, you might feel like you are not as good as other individual. This can lead to feeling of inadequacy or even jealousy. Upward comparison can also be motivating. It might inspire you to work harder to achieve similar success or improve. Now downward comparison. Downward comparison is opposite of upward comparison as name suggests. Imagine you are a student and comparing yourself to someone who are struggling to get passing grades in exams. This is a downward comparison because you are looking at someone who seems worse than you. When you make a downward comparison, you might feel better about yourself in comparison. It can boost your self-esteem because you see yourself as doing better than the person you are comparing yourself. Downward comparison can also provide a sense of relief or reassurance, specifically if you are facing challenges or difficulties. Observing others who are performing better than you can make your problems smaller in comparison. Means. Upward comparison is when you look at someone doing better than you that can make you feel adequate or motivate you to improve. Downward comparison is when you look at someone doing worse than you which can make you feel better about yourself or provide relief. 
Both types of comparison play a role in how we evaluate and compare ourselves and our abilities to others. Look at the first question that I presented in beginning. When making an upward comparison according to social comparison theory, what might individuals feel? Option A, sense of relief. Option B, inadequacy or jealousy. Option C, self-satisfaction. Option D, indifference. So option B is the right answer. If you are facing difficulty to understand why inadequacy or jealousy is answer, then I think you missed that particular part. So consider watching this particular video from beginning. Now I'm moving ahead. According to Leon Festinger, there are two primary functions of social comparison. Primary function means they are playing important role in two specific areas of our life. Number one, in self-evaluation and number two, for self-enhancement. Let's talk about self-evaluation. Imagine you are trying to figure out how good you are in cricket. You might compare your skills to your friends or players like Virat Kohli, Sachin Tendulkar or Muhammad Sami. By comparing yourself to others, you can predict your strengths and weaknesses. If you perform better than your friends, you might feel confident in your cricket abilities. If you see professional players who are performing at much higher level, you might realize that there is a scope for improvement. Social comparison helps individual gain insight into their own capacities and where they stand so they can understand where I stand and what kind of capacity capabilities I am having right now. One more example, Ahana observing that her classmates getting lower grades. If she observing that her grades are consistently higher so she can evaluate where she stand. But in the same situations, chances of improvement is lower. So social comparison helps us in self-evaluation. We can understand where we stand, what kind of capacity, capabilities we are having. Now, we will talk about self-enhancement. Suppose you are feeling down about yourself after receiving some criticism, then you might compare yourself to others who are less successful or less competent than you. You are comparing to those individuals who are less successful or less competent than you to feel better about yourself. By engaging in downward comparison, as we talked earlier, you compare yourself to those who are less competent. You can boost your self-esteem and maintain a positive self-image through downward comparison. So social comparison protects individuals' self-esteem and preserve their sense of self-worth. For example, Jatin who just received some negative feedback and criticism from senior at work, then they start comparing himself to other individual who made more mistakes. So gradually, Jatin will feel better about their own performance. So through social comparison, we can improve ourselves. One important thing that we have to understand, whenever we are comparing self to others, then according to social comparison theory, the effectiveness and impact of social comparison depends on two factors. Number one, similarity means age, interest, social background, gender, etc. And second, the relevance of the comparison targets. So, individuals are more likely to engage in comparison with others who are similar to them in the relevant domain, such as they are similar in abilities, such as they are similar to experiences or goals. These comparisons are more impactful in shaping self-evaluations and behavior. That means, Comparison to similar person can create more impact than others. Like, we can take one example. If you are a psychology student, so when you will compare self to other psychology students, then influence will be much higher than when you will compare yourself to chemistry students. Now try to answer the second question that I presented in beginning. According to social comparison theory, what is the significance of similarity in comparison targets? Option A, similarity has no impact on effectiveness of comparisons. Option B, comparisons to dissimilar individuals are more impactful. Option C, more likely to comparisons with those who are similar. Option D, comparisons to those with higher status are impactful than lower status. Yes, you are right. Correct answer is C. 
मोर लाइकली टू कंपेरिजन विद दो सिमिलर होप यू गेट द आइडिया ऑफ सोशल कंपेरिजन थियोरी इफ यू आर फेसिंग डिफिकल्टी इन एनी कॉन्सेप्ट और इफ यू आर हैविंग एनी क्वेरी लेट मी नो इन कमेंट बॉक्स होप यू आर लर्निंग फ्रॉम आर वीडियोज